What's going on YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. It was massive news last week when Call of Duty announced that it would be joining Xbox's Game Pass. For the first time ever, a Call of Duty game was going to be available on Microsoft's subscription service. And a lot of people, including myself within this community, got excited because it was an opportunity to increase accessibility to the game. But not only that, it eroded away a barrier to entry for the game as well. Because for decades, these games have been $70. Even though other games have gone to free-to-play multiplayer, and it feels as if Call of Duty is just trying to hold on for dear life to maintain this $70 value. And frankly, with all of the in-game purchases that are now available, it never really made sense and still doesn't. So players that were already subscribing to Xbox's Game Pass are excited because now they can have the enjoyment of Call of Duty without that large barrier to entry right from the get-go. They're already subscribing to it, might as well maintain that same price and get Call of Duty as well. The only problem is it partially cannibalizes your entire hard drive because Call of Duty HQ, for whatever reason, is complete and utter bloatware. But that's an argument for a different day. But all of this felt like a step in the right direction. With Black Ops 6 coming to the Game Pass, it seems like Call of Duty is making the right call here with Modern Warfare 3 nearing the end of its life cycle. Smart decision. Get some new players on the game, hopefully they buy some things in the store because that's Activision's main ploy now. It's not about delivering a competent game, it's about delivering in-game purchases and directing you to the store at every single turn. Spend money, spend money, spend money, who cares if you really play the game. But the problem with all of this is this has allowed more cheaters than ever to infiltrate Modern Warfare 3. Not only are the servers complete trash right now, the anti-cheat is almost non-existent. It's like Ricochet all went off on summer break and didn't tell anybody. Every single game is riddled with cheaters, and you have thousands of people going to Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, and voicing their frustration with this. This is supposed to be a game that's fun. This was supposed to be a moment to get excited about, to cheer about. But instead, it's once again... Call of Duty not capitalizing on an amazing opportunity. It's again them fumbling the bag because of their incompetence, their ineptitude. As much money as this company makes, they still cannot seem to ever get ahead of this problem. And we talked about it last week on this channel, how they actually made the right call by banning some of these cheat suppliers. And they've got to keep doing it. But that doesn't mean you ignore the individual cheaters. And it's so clear that they're just turning a blind eye to it right now. Let these players come to the game, let them spend their money, and then sooner or later, they'll go into their shadow ban lobbies and that'll be the end of it. But as it stands right now, you are not helping the everyday player. We just got that large white page document showcasing everything about skill-based matchmaking and how it's so vital to player retention. But yet, we don't do anything about servers that are rubber banding, that are causing massive latency problems, and of course packet bursts, something that they haven't addressed in like three years, and now you have cheaters. Do you think that does more for player retention or skill-based matchmaking? We're so willing to release this 25-page document jacking ourselves off about skill-based matchmaking being needed in Call of Duty, and yet we do nothing to help support players that are experiencing massive server issues and that are running into cheaters every single game. At this point, more and more people are going to flock to these cheater platforms because it's the only way to have any fun in Call of Duty. Because everybody else is doing it, you might as well join them. And this isn't me advocating for cheating in no way, shape, or form. But this is what players are resorting to because you might as well join them. Call of Duty is not doing anything to address the issue. They're not trying to mitigate the problem. Ricochet is useless and has been useless all year long. This is a company that patted themselves on the back for banning cheaters during the free-to-play weekend. Wow, good job. What have you done since? It's an utter joke. And the fact that they didn't anticipate this leading into MW3 ending up on Game Pass shows you how incompetent they are. How inept they all are. I honestly wonder if there's a brain cell in Activision when it comes to cheaters, or do they just not care? I'm starting to think it's the latter. 
No one there cares about cheaters. They don't want to mitigate the problem. They don't want to do anything because cheaters spend money. Cheaters are now helping Microsoft make money by subscribing to Game Pass. They're making Activision money because they're purchasing things in game way more than I do. I spend $70 on this game and that's it. That's all they've gotten from me. I haven't bought a battle pass, haven't bought a single cosmetic, and I haven't done so for multiple years because I'm not investing in this trash. Make the game better. It's that simple. But they just seem to fumble the bag at every single turn. They seem to fail to realize that this has more of an effect on retaining players than skill-based matchmaking. You could have the regular matchmaking that you had in every Call of Duty prior to MW 2019, and you'd retain more players if you had a competent connection, competent spawns, and an anti-cheat system that actually worked. Players would flock to play your game because there's good mechanics here. I've said it all year. Modern Warfare 3 is a good game that's been held back by Activision. It's not even Sledgehammer Games at this point. They've done the best they can with the hand they've been dealt. Activision's the one that's restricting them. Activision's the one that's making this game worse on a daily basis. They're the incompetent ones, not Sledgehammer Games. Sledgehammer's provided us with more content than we've ever had in a Call of Duty game. They've supported this game so well, but Activision, at every single turn, eh, let's anti-cheat fail. Let's the servers completely explode. Whatever else it might be, this game is broken. And unfortunately, this doesn't bode well for Black Ops 6. That's also going to be on Game Pass. Think about the amount of cheaters that are going to be in that game day one. And that's the problem. Right there. This is going to lend itself to becoming a massive issue when Black Ops 6 comes live. When it launches, you're going to have so many cheaters across this entire game because so many people are going to be accessing it on Game Pass. And it's just going to be a problem that you can't mitigate. You've got to get a better, more robust anti-cheat system. It's as simple as that. It's the same complaint that so many of us have had for months now, going on years. Do better. This shouldn't be this complicated. It shouldn't seem like we never get a step in the right direction with Ricochet, but we never do. As much as I want Activision's lawyers to go after all the cheating software developers, Ricochet still needs to do their job. They still need to be competent in what they do. And it's so clear to me that they're not able to do it. And I don't know if that's because Activision doesn't want to invest in them, or if it's because the people that are running Ricochet don't know what the hell they're doing. Or they're all complacent in this and want cheaters to thrive in Call of Duty. I don't really know. But there's no way this is as good as it can be. It, they need to be better. It's that simple. Or you're going to lose players. You're he probably already losing players, if I'm going to be completely honest. Things need to improve. Simple as that. So that's it for the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down below in the comments section. How do you feel about cheaters in MW3? How do you feel about Modern Warfare 3 ending up in, on Game Pass? Has it been positive or negative? I think you know where I stand on this.